Hello everybody, you're here with Claru Beauty with your host Claudia Lara. Thank you very much for tuning in. So today is an episode of finally Trish McAvoy. Trish McAvoy is a brand that I haven't spoken much about other than my two uh, favorite items, one of which will be in here. But um, I don't hear much about it and I couldn't find much in YouTube about it. So here I am. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Now, I do own several items from this brand and several brushes, which I really recommend. But in this occasion, it's the first time that I buy a full set. They call these planners and they include like a full face in... Uh, in this type of planner. I think they come like in the spring, summer, and then fall, winter. And then usually they have one that is always there. But you save um, around 50% of the whole thing because it says, I think it will be like 600 or 700 in total. And you purchase it for 290 something for $300. So this is the first time that I get the full thing. And of course, one of the things that he sold me, it came in this box. I'm gonna keep having this box, right? <laughs> I already opened it. And, um, and this is what came inside. Now we're gonna open it together. One of the things that I really went for was the color of the planner. This changes every time. Uh, and I love this lilac. So I thought, why not? Now the colors themselves, I think they all work for me except the lips, it will work, but um, but it's more nude that I usually like it. I like a little pinkish or things like that. Obviously the brand has some of those colors, but we're gonna try the full planner as it is. So if you're interested in that, please keep on watching and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. And please ring the bell on the right hand corner so you know when I upload new videos. All right, so here we go. Um, what is it about this planner? Well, let's open it together. I did kind of sneak, I mean, peek in before filming, but I closed it back down how it came because I wanted you to see. So it did came with these instructions, which we'll look at them. But so it comes like this and then it has this binder and these things, you, they sell them separately and you have for eyeshadows or for face powders. Um, this one came with this one, um, which, let me open it. I haven't swatched them, I will swatch them for you in a little bit. So apparently it comes also with a mirror. This too is a mirror. And then those that are uh, bronze, light bronzer, darker bronzer, that looks a little peachy pink and then translucent powder. We're gonna swatch them together, but just wanted to show you. So this thing, again, you can buy them separately. You can change any in the ones inside. You can put, uh, you know, like blush, bronzer and eyeshadows. You can do many things with this. And of course now there's a lot of space if I wanted to add other to the collection. Then it comes with this bag that is removable. Uh, and I'll go through this in a little bit. And then it comes with this elastic here. I guess uh, you can put brushes if you want it, or you can put that, I guess, you know, taking care of, I think more brushes. In any case, on this side, you have these things where you can put whatever you want, but in this case, there, and we're gonna go one by one, right? So there's the mascara, there is an eye primer, an eye brightening concealer, uh, there's an eyeliner. This also sold me because, and I kind of swatch it a little bit, it's lilac. Uh, and I'll swatch properly. This one was a while back. <laughs> and then there is for the eyebrows, eyebrow pencil, and a perfume, and, uh, and, a, and a lip liner. I already tried this. I really, really, really like it. It's very nude brownish. It reminded me of like the Sisley or the Chanel, the Brune, um, that is like a must have. So we'll try it together and you'll see, I really was happy about this. So there were several items that sold me. It was obviously the Lilac, 
the the fact that this one's kind of went my way um it also comes going with this and we're gonna go one by one i think i already said that i'm getting a little nervous i'm like oh my god so many things <laughs> so we're gonna try to so once you open this uh here were uh the it came the eyeshadows which came in this nice pocket i probably won't use the pocket but i did like it it's not like super tight like your chanel that you that is barely fit no it's just roomy you can put something in there if you wanted to or what I usually do for traveling, I use this to put my jewelry, you know, a little bits here and there. So, and anyhow, this is more useful than just the pocket of, uh, you know, without the closing. In any case, that's nice. So these are sort of new um, containers. You don't call them containers, right? <laughs> Whatever you call it to hold the eyeshadows and the powders, they were different. I might look to see if I have one of the old ones, but this is new and I do like it. It has, obviously, it has texture when you feel it. It's not just flat and plasticky. I'm guessing it will be plasticky, but the fact that it's lifted a little bit or that you can feel it makes it very nice. There's the Trish McAvoy. The design itself, I think, is original and it's luxurious. I wouldn't say it's like the most nicest thing I've seen in the design itself, but it's new and I obviously got it. <laughs> so it comes with a full mirror and then, oh my God, my closet is open here. This is my office closet. Anyhow, this is the eyeshadow quad that comes. So I liked it because it was very natural, very good, you know, nude. I mean, it's not like we wouldn't have this in our collection, but the fact that it has a little chime pink, a little bit of that brownish, um, you know, rosy, and then of course the mattes, the light and the darker. I just thought it was a very basic, but very nice. And we'll swatch them together. So this is color soft peach, rose quartz, topaz and rich brown very basic but for everybody and very useful but we will uh, and just real quick the other thing before we start one by one right uh that came all these lips so this is a gloss i really really like her gloss this is a little nude brown for me it's gonna look perfect for the look but i like more of color i do own two others it's very nice gloss um why did I not pull those out? Let's see if I can find one here. Oh, I have one here. This is like, this is a little more lighter and pinkish. What color is this? Um, well, Sexy Petal. We'll compare with that one, but we will definitely use the one in the, in the case, right? Um, so there's this. There's this pencil, which I never use, but it's supposed to be kind of a wax lightening uh, for the brow. It's called Brow Perfectors. We'll see, we'll use it together. We'll explore together. And then there's one of my big time favorite lip perfector balm. I've talked about this before. I have gone through many of these things. So that's another thing I was happy that it came in the case. This and the eyeliner because and the lip pencil because those things were perfect colors and I really was excited to get them. And then there's this lip color, sexy nude. Again, a little bit too nude for my taste. Let's switch this one. But beautiful for many, many people. I mean, we can even perhaps compare it to, hmm. Like it reminds me of like a pillow talk, but in this brownish nude uh, tone. So if I remember that I just moved, if you're new to my collection, I mean, if you're new to my channel, you probably don't know, but I just moved. So I'm still getting familiar with all my makeup is. Mm -mm -mm. So I, I might find the pillow talk, we'll compare it. Okay, let me see here. If uh, that's all my Charlotte Tilbury and I don't see the pillow talk. Okay, never mind. Now, I'm, it's going to be in the back of my mind, right? Uh, I have another one here. Lippies. Do I see pillow top in here? Hmm. I do. I think. I think. It's because I have it in 
Uh, yeah, I did. Okay. Not the Pillow Talk Medium, but this is the Pillow Talk. I have it in a mini because it's not my favorite color. I gave away mine and then, oh no, it's a lot more rose here. Okay, never mind. Okay, well, it reminds me, I don't know why, it reminds me of that kind of, maybe it was beach perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, but we're not going to get into that. Let's not deviate, let's continue. So that's what came here, most of those lips. So where are they, my instructions? Okay, here they are. Let's start reading. And I'm totally bare skin. I apologize for that. You know I don't like to greet you this way, but... Uh, and my face at this moment is a mess. My hair is a mess. Oh, I don't have to tell you this. <laughs> you can tell for yourself, so... Excuse my mess. Hopefully by the end of this video, we're gonna be like, oh my God, you look great. Now, I don't have foundation, which I could have put already. And that doesn't come in this whole thing, but because we're gonna be doing the under eye and the translucent powder, I thought I'll put the foundation here, just a little bit here and there if I need it. Uh, and for that, we could use the new Cletipo uh, cushion foundation, which is very nice, or we can use the Westman Atelier, which is very natural and just cover most of the, the discoloring. But I won't know how that's looking until we apply what I just discussed. Okay. All right. All right. So let's begin. So the number one, it says scent of the mood, apply a hundred to create an attitude of endless possibilities. All right. So the first thing I'm gonna pull out is the perfume, which is a nice size. Here it is. Doo -doo -doo. Now I haven't smelled this. And is that the name of it? I mean, it says 100. Does it say here? Yeah, I guess it's 100, you see that. Now I haven't smelled her since. Mmm. Okay, a little seductive, mysterious, elegant womanhood. That's. That's what comes up first. Let's see how it smells on me. Now, Trish McAvoy is uh, definitely older than me. And so she represents, uh, you know, mm. Mm. she represents a little older woman and sophistication. And she's obviously very pretty. Oh my God. Oh, this is good. This surprise after what I just described is it has a little bit of citrus and so it makes it uh, positive and optimistic and and going so oh that smells nice I mean for me to keep going back at it that means and I'm surprised by it well let me see if it says anything else about the fragrance it does say to create an attitude of endless positivity. And it says, Scent, set the mood, right? Number one, right here. Um, so, uh, I agree. I like how the, oh my God, I like how that smells. Wow. You know, sometimes I buy a lot of perfumes, right? And imagine you buy all these perfumes and then something that comes in a kit like this and then it ends up being like, your to-go fragrance, you know, when that happens. Uh, it's, it's just interesting, right? You could save all that money and just get the set with everything and forget about all the other stuff you bought. <laughs> Which, by the way, I'll be traveling soon. So perhaps uh, I'll just take this. That's it. I mean, this is a little bulkier than what I usually travel with because what I travel with goes in my purse. But... Um, I think I can put everything I will travel with in here and then just pull out certain things and put it in my purse and that will be perfect. I think that's how it's going to work. All right. So the set is, the mood has been set. Okay. Now number two, and hopefully we won't go like this. I'll apply a little faster, but brighten and prime. So it's asking for the eye base essential. Now, one of the things, uh, when I went to Nordstrom's last time, there was a Trish McAvoy lady, obviously the, the one that helps you with the brand. 
and oh my god she look gorgeous uh, with her makeup perfectly in the nude elegant it was just perfection and um, you know and that even uh, motivated me to get this even more because he hadn't been out yet for spring but her makeup looked perfect but where I'm going with this is you know it would have been nice for me to ask her to do my makeup so I learn about this products but if you've been with me, you know that lately I don't have much time. I'm having a lot of things to do. So the best I could do is order and figure it out myself with this. Now, before I um, started the camera, I did read a little bit. And this Ibis Essential, it says, Banish darkness with Trish Cream to Powder, Cream to Powder, Eyelid Primer, Brightener, and Corrector. So I was a little confused if I'm supposed to put this under as well. So I'm not gonna do that today, but we'll see. It says, wear this alone for an instant bright eye look or place shadow on lock in for all day. So that leads me to believe that it's only for the lid. Now, which one is it? It's eye space essential, yeah. Okay, because there's two and this will be the corrector concealer and it has a little more pink if you notice it's a little more yellow so we'll see cream to powder right i am going to try it out for the first time a little nervous i'm a little nervous too because i haven't filmed in a little while and i haven't put any makeup in a little while yeah yeah messy messy yeah my life is a little messy <laughs> right now <laughs> okay so oh wow Look at my eyelids. That's without makeup. They're looking pretty dark. Wow. So I guess something is happening hormonal as well because my skin is changing, my hair is changing, my digestion is changing, my body is changing. Yep. I mean, I just turned 50 and I would have thought it would have taken some time to start kicking all the 50 stuff. Not right at 50, right? All right. The easiest thing to apply. Oh, wow. Look at that. Wow. I mean, look at this. Wow, they're very dark for me. But okay. So they're there. And then there's this. Wow. I mean, it looks nicer already wow okay I mean I should do half with and half without but no we're not gonna do that all right so easy to do did I just said that yes this is what Trish McAvoy uh, talks about uh, that her makeup is to be on the go that's why she does the planners and that's why uh, and and she wants the busy woman or the elegant woman or the practical woman that just buys a planner and has everything she needs. And I'm going to go and visit my mom next week, um, traveling and, uh, oh my God, now I'm thinking maybe I should give her something like this or the whole kit, right? Well, I feel better already. <laughs> We're only in number one, right? <laughs> nah, nah, it's number two, number two. Okay, so number three, intense gel eyeliner bright eyes. Line, define, and enhance your eyes with this cream long wear pencil. Okay, this is one of the other items that I ordered the planner for or liked a lot. So there's this, it looks like almost every eyeliner, you know, of other brands, but it says, Brightening eyes, intense, and the color, why can I read the color? But it's very lilac-like. Does it say there? Hmm. Well, I'm gonna swatch it right here. Look at that color. And it's creamy, sliced delicious. All right, we can ignore this color because that one was the pillow tuck. Now I feel like it shouldn't have been there. There you go. Um. All right, well, that, they're saying this is number three, and it says you can use it alone or with the 
smoosher, of course. But let's put a little bit and see what happens. Okay, so it really slides so nice and delicate, which my eyes really appreciate lately. They've been very sensitive as well, on top of everything. <laughs> so young girls, this is all you're looking for at 50. Okay, so I think it's very lovely. So I'm gonna smoosh it with my eye. And of course we're gonna play with all the eyeshadows on top. But I wanna give you an idea if you just wanted to use this, which probably I will. Oh my God, this is so lovely. You know, the days that you just wanna add this, this will be enough with the primer and this, because the primer really clean up my eye quite well. I really like it. I really, really like this. So again, one of the products that I was excited about, and it definitely um, complete or satisfy my craving. <laughs> it's because this lilac oh, is just perfection. All right, it's not the best color for me, I have to admit, but I just love the color. Probably for those that have darker skin, oh, this color, the lilacs, I think they're gonna, they're, you know, amazing. All right, so there you have it. Very, very nice. You know that I really like Victoria Beckham eyeliners. I think this is creamier. Yes, I think this is creamier. Now, I don't know if you'll set like Victoria Beckham's forever and ever and ever, but uh, it was very easy and nice way to apply it. So I'm impressed about that. Okay, obviously what differentiates a lot between brands, because the formula, sometimes they don't vary as much. Although like if I think of Pat McGrath or like Natasha Denona or any other uh, eyeliners that I do, Dior, Chanel, I do see a tiny difference, tiny, but not much. But I think where you see the big, the biggest difference between a brand and another brand is the color. And so uh, obviously a brand like Trish McAvoy that is looking for practicality and elegance and for older uh, women, then, you know, the color is just very complimentary, very light, very nice, very subtle, very subtle. Okay, so we're done with number um, four. It says, okay, so now it's asking to go to the eyeshadows. All right, so I wanted to say, I don't own a lot of Trish McAvoy brushes. I do own saw some. I couldn't find the rest of them, but I did find these two that I have. I really recommend her brushes. They are such a high quality, soft, perform well. These are two that I own here. I think I got this to blend or to apply something like this back on the day, and then of course I. So these two, which are all uh, 55 Deluxe Blender, and this one is 29 Topper Blending. Um, but any of her brushes, they're not inexpensive, but uh, for a reason, they're very nice. And I think there's, She's still, um, not so sure, but last I checked, she was one of the few that still did natural hairs uh, instead of synthetic, but don't quote me on that because I haven't checked in a while. Okay, so let's apply a little bit. Um, let's see, I have some Sonia G here just to help me out. I didn't plan this well. All right, well, um, I'm gonna apply. I have this one from Sonia G, the Blender Bro. The reason is it's bigger just to apply, although she asked to put at least this pinkish one all over the lid and I'll swatch this. Okay, so let's do the swatches first. That way I'll know also. Oh my God, they're creamy. They're just nice, elegant shadows. Okay, so. Yeah, it's because, you know, that's what you get with nice brands. Here it is. One, two, three, four. This is dark enough. This is very nice for crease. This is very nice for brightening 
and then this gives a little bit of shine. It's just beautiful, um, elegant, and subtle. Um, and then of course you have the, the liner, right? So I'm going to apply the, oh my God, which one I do use for that? I'm gonna apply the pink, the shine, which they recommend to do. You can do it with your finger or with a brush, but I'm just gonna do it with my finger here. Remember, I already have the primer. So, look at that, ooh. I mean, nice. Okay, all right, I'm liking this. And so, very easy, you can't, you can't do any wrongdoing. Um, all right, then let's apply a little bit, tiny bit of this white obviously in the inner. You do have to kind of do this. I did see some powder coming out and just in case, right? So inner corner, I like these brushes. This is very precise because it has this pointy thing. So when I do this, it does become a, a plier, not just a buffer, which that one is interesting. Okay, I'll do the other. Let's see if you can see. Yeah, you see the powder? Yeah. Okay. So a little bit inner corner. Yeah, I'm bringing a little down, but remember we haven't put anything underneath and I'm looking so red. Oh, okay. Not my best, not my best. I'm gonna use the same because it has that pointy thing and we're gonna use the crease color they also, because it has a tiny little bit of lighting also, I don't know if you can tell, and I can't really tell much here. See, this has a little bit of shimmer, right? I mean, it shines. Uh, this one, you can really tell, it's meant for the crease, but it does have a little bit of sparkles in there. Tiny, 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 you couldn't even see it with the light reflecting, so. But I think that's gonna make a difference. Um, I think what they suggest is for the lid, you can kind of go back and forth and or probably they want it on the outer corner instead of like a mat that you just go uh, on all the crease. So I'm kind of doing a little bit of the crease and a little bit of the outer corner because I have hooded eyes so I have to bring the color up. I can't just leave it in the crease because it would totally disappear. Um, but I'm liking how this is looking. All right, now I haven't got to brows. I would have started with the brows, but I'm following the, um, I'm following the instructions and time is flying. All right. All right, all right. Well, this is gonna be a long video. This is gonna be a long video and um, it'll compensate because I haven't applied videos in forever. So I'm doing this quicker. Um, to tell you the truth, uh, I enjoy applying makeup so much that that's why it takes me forever. Like if I'm gonna go out, sometimes the application of the makeup is the most exciting. <laughs> And sometimes it doesn't look that great anyways at the end. All right, maybe I applied too much, maybe not, but I wanted you to see there's enough color and uh, I'm liking this. Hmm. Remember, I still have to put the mascara and all that. All right, then of course there is the dark if you really wanted to do something, but we'll put a liner even though the blue is there, but we're going a little bit of more this quad right of shades that's, that's, so the color payout is definitely there so i have to say the bluish still underneath and what is making is making with this brown and all the other shades is creating this kind of taupe uh beautiful taupe and so if i was playing a little bit more with the shades I think I would apply the blue all over my lid and then apply the pink on top of it. 
and I think you really will create a, a beautiful top hay. I'll do that in my hand in a little bit just to see. You know, for those of you that love like cashmere from Dior or um, some of the colors from Chantecai, you know, from like Plaza San Marcos or things like that, because of the shine tape that exists, I think um, I think you can create that with this as well, something similar. Okay, so I'm feeling like my eyeshadow is looking a little bit like a, what do you call those raccoons? I mean, my eyes started brown and purple to begin with, so apparently my skin wants to go that route. All right, so I'm just gonna take the big one and blend. Yeah, okay. Now I'm feeling better, okay. And now we have to clean it up and do my eyebrows, right? All right. So next, what, oh, we were gonna do the playing with the tope, right? Where is my eyeliner? Here, okay. So I'm gonna do, so let's see, there's an eyeliner. I'm gonna kind of blur it out a little bit and then I'm gonna apply a little bit of that pink on top. You see that? So it, it's not this color and it's not this color, but it starts combination. And so it, it creates this beautiful kind of bluish, purplish kind of color. Very in, into springs, right? All right. So let's done with that. And then it says high volume tube mascara. So this also has a mascara. And if you've been with me, I love Trish McAvoy mascara. That's the one I'm having in my purse at the moment. So, and I'll tell you why. I mean, mascaras are mascaras, right? I mean, yeah, there's some that really ramp up your eye. And if you are going to an event or a night, you want that. But for everyday mascara, what do you look for? I'll tell you what I look for. It's just a little bit of doing the thing on the, on the eyelashes, and gentleness. Meaning, I don't wanna to struggle to take it off at night, although I've been through times where I don't care and I go through that every night. But at this moment, I don't wanna struggle taking it off at night. Uh, I want gentle for my eyes. And I do want a little up, not a big up, a little up and I tell you that's kind of against the trend because lately I'm seeing a lot of lashes trend maybe because of spring and so I mean even the other day I was with a realtor and a meeting and all the women that arrived had fake lashes like like noticeable like unrealistic and so I guess that's the trend. That's what people are liking at these days, and that's fine. But I'm saying that's not my preference. Um, and even, I can understand the younger, well, it doesn't matter the age, right? But there's a lot of younger girls that are going to do, there's this procedure where they do it permanently. Of course, it lasts like six weeks. But I see them like when they're going on vacation, uh, so they do their eyelashes, so then they don't have to apply any makeup for six weeks or so. And those lashes look so natural. They look natural, they look long, and really they wake up and they look uh, gorgeous, like no makeup but beautiful eyes and such. Uh, so I know those treatments, I would be a little worried, I mean. Um, I, I know people that do it and that's fine. They're more courageous than me, but I don't want anybody touching my eyes that close. <laughs> it 
nor my eyebrows for that matter, because that's the other trend, right? All the eyebrow tints, tattooing, and I mean, look, it looks gorgeous um, for the trend, right? For for the look. Okay, so we're done with that mascara. How do you feel about the lashes and the eyebrows? I want to hear. I want to hear. All right, and there's no right or wrong. It's how each person likes or dislike, right? Okay. So we've done the volume mascara. Now instant eye lift. Okay, finally we get to the concealer. Okay. So is this it? No, this is a base. This is eye base. You know what I really would like from companies, brand companies? To start making that a little bigger. Look at the letters. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't want to go for my glasses. I don't wear glasses. So even then. But if I did, I don't want to have to put my glasses every time to be able to read these things. But I don't. <laughs> so and I still struggle reading it. Okay. So make this bigger. Put it up here. You know, bigger. Okay. So instant eye lift. See the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm showing off my... <laughs> my age so this is pinkier let's see how it works i never tried this so i don't know and one thing it wasn't clear to me is if i'm supposed to set it with a translucent powder now i did see Trish mcavoy um they recommend to do a triangle and that used to be how concealer was applied i never jump into that wagon and I'm not so sure if it's still happening. So I'm a little, okay, I'll put one dot there. Definitely I do use this, but that whole triangle thing, uh, I don't know. Okay, so let's start. Now that's the other thing I don't do. I don't put the concealer after the mascara. Why? because then I'm too close to the lashes and I feel they might, you know, drop dots or whatever. This one doesn't seem to be dropping anything. And, um, wow, look how beautiful. Oof. Yeah, yeah, I'm liking this. <laughs> I have to admit, I think in my 30s, perhaps, early 40s I might have tried this concealer and I think I was too young for it then I mean I'm not trying to let the youngsters not to go to this but there are certain products that as you age they work better for your skin for sure look at that look at this yeah my face is a little bit needs a little tender love and care don't you think well, but it's getting there and we're gonna apply the foundation. Okay. And also I'm starting to get hot. <laughs> All right, so let's go to the other. Uh, did I mention, I, I, I have mentioned that this is pinkier than the other, but this reminds me I have from Chanel um, their corrector instead of their concealer and the reason i get the corrector is because it's more pinkish and so this is reminding me of that that pinkish thing i guess it brightens a little bit or uplifts a little bit more than if you're just concealing with the same skin color and so i do like this look it's a different look but uh, i do like it um yeah look at that Mm-hmm. I guess you can put it here. You can put it anywhere. I think, let me see. I think they use it as a corrector throughout the, it says, banish the look of darkness and fatigue with Trish multitasking. See, multitasking. I think you can use it all over. Under eye treatment and brightening while also blurring the appearance of fine lines for a dramatically lifted effect. Place instant eye lift in Trish's signature triangle of light. See, there's the triangle thing, yeah. An inverted triangle under the eye, brighten the points just past your area of darkness, blend with your finger, cream brush, or place 
a blend sponge. All right. So this brush that I show you could have been a good also to do it. I like my finger. It just warms the product. I, I can feel where it's placing and um, yeah, but you can do as you can. The next step is the translucent finishing powder, but that's why I'm not sure if you're supposed to put it on top or not, because it says apply trees must have finishing powder to invisible blur imperfections, minimize pores or prolong the wear of your makeup. Brushes powder over your foundation or complexion items to ensure a seamless application of all color items. So, all right, I'm not so sure. I'm not very big powder girl, but let's apply just a tiny bit, tiny bit um, on, on top of the concealer, just in case, right? I mean, usually it's supposed to work good. Oh. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna apply it on one eye, on one side and not the other. Wow, this is this is light and nice. Appreciate that. Mm-hmm. So I applied on this side, not on this side. I don't see a lot of color correcting, so I don't think it will matter, which that's good. Um, it is completely white and transparent. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm getting my um, I'm going to put a little bit, a little bit of, of the Clé de Peau cushion foundation, uh, just because it's new to my collection. It's very nice and it definitely, see that? It definitely goes with the lighter, oh, seems like I got too much, uh, a lighter look of makeup, which goes with the Trish McAvoy. But the good thing about Trish McAvoy is if I wanted to put a full coverage um, foundation, it will go with this makeup because her makeup is gives such a professional, um, elegant look. And I'm going to continue to be saying that because that's what this brand reminds me of. The whole look, the whole... Uh, what the makeup is going for. I mean, even if you just see Trish McAvoy in commercials or coming out or, and you know, one thing that is great is she's uh, one, another one like Charlotte Tilbury, like, uh, you know, Victoria Beckham. Trish McAvoy is talking about her brand, but obviously she's been for years and years and years in it. So this is not a new brand and she's been in the most prestigious, you know, stores. And of course, nowadays with the online sales, that doesn't say much because everybody can get their hands on things through online. But back on the day, it was the store, right? And so getting into those very prestigious stores like Neiman Marcus, uh, Bechdorn Gorft, and uh, you know, you know I'm terrible with names, but you know what I'm talking about. So she's been in all of those for years and still is. And what surprises me a lot is some of her stuff like this kind of um, things get sold out. So she's still selling. I don't know if it's just a loyal following because I don't hear much about them. So it's not just a trendy sort of makeup for sure. All right. So look how beautiful, right? I mean, what a change. <laughs> We're almost done. We're getting into, oh yeah, the face powder. So, so you can add translucent powder all over if you wish. I usually don't. So let's get now to the bronzer. Now, the first thing I'm going to do as promise is we're going to, um, we're going to swatch these things. Oh, I just noticed something. I'll show you. It has a, a little heart. That's so nice. Oh, I should have done it the other hand. All right, whatever. We're gonna do with this. Wow, that's a, a light bronzer, which is something I appreciate. And now I know why. I think it's kind of a highlighter more than a bronzer. Okay, so this is kind of a highlight, light bronzing. Has a little bit more of shine, so more of a highlight. Then this is a bronzing, more matte. Then this is the, the blush. 
and then this is the translucent powder. All right, so that's what I was reading. What I was reading before I came in here was that she recommends, according to this, to apply the lightest shade. Oh, and what I wanted to show you, let me see if I can take this out of the bind. So, yeah, okay. So this is the little page, how it comes. But I wanted to show you, it has a, a little heart. Look at that. Dee, 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 dee. So this is the one I was telling you is very, very light and it has a little bit of light reflecting. This is the bronzing, more matte, and then the brush, it does have a little shimmer and the translucent powder. Uh, so let's see. I'm going, that's cute, the XOX Trish, right? This is cute. I like that. Okay. So I'm, usually I would go back and forth, but the instruction is you go through this, and this is a perfect brush, this is Sonia G. And then you go in the high points of your face, including, I guess, where you add the highlighters, right? Like on top of the eyebrows, um, a little bit on the nose. I guess I'm gonna put a little bit on my lips. Yeah, I, I'm starting, I'm learning about this, right? This is where I wish I had gone to the lady and they could have explained to me how to use this, but with what I know, that is beautiful. It's giving me color and uplifting because of the shine in it. Oh my God. Am I gonna fall in love with Trish McAvoy now? I, I'm really, I mean, now I get it why they sell out all the time and why you're expecting every fall or every spring. And then if you just get this once, then you don't need anything else, right? Because you be with the colors of the season. I mean, what a great thing. All right, so I did that. Now let's apply a little bit of, um, of the bronzer, this one. I was debating which one. Let me take this other brush to be a little more specific. It's a little thick for what I wanted, but that's okay. Well, we're learning here. So, this one it recommends to do the usual three, right? So, they really blend nice. I don't think you can go wrong. Wow. Mm-hmm. I'm liking this and I'm putting very light. And so you could create a little more contour if that was your case. You could go back and forth. You can really do anything you want with this. Oh yeah, the, this is the, the new thing. Not new for makeup, but I never had this big thing here is growing. Yeah, yeah. With age, all the things that I heard you're supposed to do now make sense. When you're young and pretty, you're like, eh, I don't need to put anything there. Now it's like, oh yeah, I do. <laughs> all right, whatever. I really like this. Now, you could leave it like this, very nude, very just, I mean, it give me enough color, I think. But then if you are in the mood of that pinkish, more youth, more, Let's try it, right? I'm gonna try a little bit of that. Remember, it has a little bit of of shine. Um, and so you do have to be in the mood or maybe for a day. Oh my God, look at that. Gorgeous, just gorgeous. This is all I'm gonna take on my trip, by the way. Yep, it has everything. And you really can vary it. You don't have to do just this look. I mean, you can use this brush on top. I mean, it's just, all right, we still have to do um, lips and eyebrows. So bear with me, this is a long video, but it had to be, it had to be. Okay, so do a bronzer, da da da. That's what I, uh, they do recommend to go back and forth together. The same with the eye eyeshadows. So light and lift blush, oh yeah, we did it. Um, the apples of your cheek. Okay. Lip Perfection Conditioning Balm. So this is one that 
uh, like I said at the beginning, is one that I have recommended forever in my channel. I have gone through like three or four of this. Uh, I carry one here, one in my bathroom. I mean, I love this thing and I do have it in my lips. I'll reapply. And what it is, is, and I use it every time when I get out of the shower. So it's a very, it's not creamy, it's sort of waxy, but once you apply it, you totally forget it's there. Uh, and so you think maybe it's not doing anything, but it nourishes your lips and it gives it a tint, a very, very, very light tint. You will never know it's there. And it's not like you can do this, like, mm, mm, mm. I mean, if, if I'm doing it right now, it does slide, but it's waxy, so not moist or not wet, but it does cover the lips. So I like it before going to bed or after the shower, or whatever. I just feel that it really protects my lips. That's just me. And it gives it just that tint of color, you know? And so it's beautiful with my husband or, you know. <laughs> If you have absolutely no makeup. All right, so um, what's next? So we did that. And then Lip Perfect, uh, Long Wear Lip Liner. Okay, well, I'll show you the lip liner, which again, this lip liner, love it, love it, love it. I won't do comparisons just because of time, but there's the lip liner, look how beautiful. And so I'll do another video when I'm just comparing, like I'll find the, the lips with something else because I know I have something similar. All right, so, I mean, how can you not? These are so nude and, and wearable, and yet they have something special. And elegant and mysterious. And by the way, I've been smelling the perfume. I like it. So for my trip, I'm only taking this and I'm taking that perfume. That's it. Love this color. It does have a little bit of a peach. You know, this is the lipstick. You see, this is the liner. So it has a brown for sure, but it's tending towards this color. So it does have that little, I don't know what to call it, but I like what it's doing for my lips and I think it will complement most of you, especially if you have blonde hair, you know, because you guys get very um, nice with this brown, orangey, nude sort of color. So FYI. All right, so we're almost done. We're almost done. So we have the lip liner and then lip color sexy nude, which we are ready. And what did I do with it? Um, yeah, I already swatched it for you. It's this one. It obviously has a little shine. So what it says is that you can go like this. You can fill up the whole lips. Obviously, you know what to do with these things. And you can just put the gloss on top. Of course, we're trying all of them. So we're, I'm gonna apply this. And this is not necessarily my best color, but oh my God, it would it'll just gonna go perfect with everything else. So I'm gonna apply it. Mm-hmm. I feel like just wearing anything elegant, any color, anything, anything. Even if it was beige that washes me out with this sort of makeup, that's it. Problem solved. And still very nude and natural. <sighs> Dios mío. Love it. Okay. So we did that. And now obviously the um, gloss. I don't necessarily love that it comes in this plastic little tube. Uh, it's perfect for the purse. So I get it. This is something you put in your purse instead of the planner. Um, but it's not, I don't, I don't, I hate having to press this thing. I prefer the, the gloss. Apologize for my dog. And we'll let him bark while I apply this. Yes, all day long I hear him. <laughs> If a butterfly passes by, he barks. <laughs> but in this case, there's somebody outside. And here's the fans. Okay. I mean, isn't it gorgeous? 
then my mood is changing. I mean, my mood changed the minute I applied that perfume because it's delicious. Uh, but now, mm -hmm. oh, eyebrows, eyebrows. Okay, okay. I hope this video doesn't take forever to upload because I want you to check this out. All right, so what did they want me to do? We're in the last two steps, last two steps. Uh, brow Perfector Pomade. Tame, groom, and shape brows by stroking brown perfecto pomade in the direction of hair. I don't like to compete with my dog to talk into the camera. <laughs> All right, so I stay quiet, he stays quiet. I talk, he talks. So what did I do with, um, there was that thick, this one. All right. Now, I don't know about this because I barely have eyebrows. I don't have hair in my eyebrows. Yeah, it's interesting. So this wax things, when you have hair, some of you that do, oh, you really want that and it really makes them be all nice or broom or nice. When you don't have, I don't think it does much. Still, we're gonna use it. So it says to, to do it I guess on top of your hairs and taming them, brushing them, putting them in place. I mean, I could see that happening, right? I mean, that's without and that's with. But I need more color. So I guess you could use just this. Not my case. I need to fill it up with something because I like my eyebrows a tiny little bit more full. Not much. I mean, I'm not asking to really fill the eyes, but definitely makes a big difference. Especially with hooded eyes, having that framing the eyes. Not only that, I don't know if you've seen my video on eyebrows, um, but I talk about my grandmother making such a big deal about if you don't do anything to your face, please do the eyebrows because they frame your eyes. And if you saw that video, if not, you know, you can go and watch it. She was scouted to be in Hollywood when all the Elizabeth Taylor and all of those people, she had a contract and they did the makeup in Hollywood, beautiful pictures. And that's what she learned there that framing your eyes, the eyebrows, most important thing, you know, those black and white pictures. Yeah. Her father didn't allow her to, to fill out the, to fulfill the contract. So she had to come out and she never did it, but she was scattered out and she was offered a contract. Anyhow. So my grandmother was beautiful. Yeah. Who will say it? Me, of course. <laughs> so let's, this is the pencil that comes with it. Haven't tried it. Let me. Um, oh, it's a little hard to. Maybe I just needed to warm it up. It's this one. So I like the color, but it seems obviously it's tinting, but it feels harsh. Like if it was dry, I don't know if that's the way this is supposed to be. Oh yeah. So it's supposed to be like this because you use it in combination with the wax pencil because as I'm applying it right here, it's sliding nice and it is tinting, right? So, so if you use it by itself, it is a little, I found maybe not anymore. Let me see if I do now. No, I think it's, it's meant to be used with the wax because it really slides and tints very nicely uh, where I apply the, the wax. But where I don't, like if you just wanted to wear it by itself, um, I think it tugs a little bit or it's a little drier. But look at that. I mean, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. do you see a difference? <laughs> oh, Dios mío. I can hear my dog growling. So he obviously is trying to sleep and does not like me talking. And he's in the other room. 
Yeah, he has a little bit of character. He's a huge dog, and it seems that huge dogs have their temperament. Because I have a, a Chihuahua that, obviously, she ha he has his temper as well. But it's different. They're just more um, alarm. That's what I call them, alarm. Uh, but the big one, oh no. He wants his stuff when he wants it. <laughs> All right. So, how are we doing? You know what I wish this had? I don't know if it does. A little spoolie. Oh, of course it does. Does it? Yeah, of course it does. It has a spoolie. I was going to say, I want a spoolie. So, let's brush this. And he's a good spoolie. Oh, yeah. You know, there's some spoolies that don't really... You don't feel it's really getting there. This one is a nice pulley. Okay. Of course, Trish McAvoy had to have um, quality. Okay. Well, what do we think? I'm very impressed. I'm very happy with the purchase. I don't remember if this had a topper. I don't think it does. I think you just... Uh, screw it back in and it stays like this and then it has this bully the top for this bully I think this is how it comes is there a picture of this yeah that's how it is okay brow perfector pomade done precision brow shape that I think that's it so 13 steps that's as many as we did 13 steps there's the 13 okay I know it took me forever but you know I'm chatty, or this is a chatty video. And I hope you like the end result. I think it's just gorgeous. So do I recommend all of the items in this case? Yes. Uh, do I recommend that you buy this and you don't need anything else? Yes. Prove is, this is what I will take, including perfume. The only thing extra will be your foundation. And I think it's probably because it would be very hard to include a, a color that would apply for everybody. But uh, for that, I did use the Clé de Peau Radiant Cushion, which I didn't buy the full size because this is nice to travel. So this fits in here as well. And there's extra room if you want to put any other different things, which I might include, for example, a red lips, maybe, um, to, to travel with. But other than that, tell me what you think. Oh my God. Kind of say, run and get it. It's not inexpensive, but it has everything. Now, is this very special look? I think the eyeliner is special and, uh, and I think it does the job. So, That's it for today. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Please ring the bell in the right hand corner so you know when I upload new videos. Thank you so much if you're still with me at this time. And I will see you next time. Tell me if you have any Trish McAvoy products. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye.